Very yes, very unfortunate. What, are, what is the GHNC going to do? What is the next step of action that you're going to take with respect to this incident? So, let me tell you, as I said, firstly, I cannot say, I cannot plead the, I cannot ask my citizens to say, like, please do not feed the dogs and, you know, because they become very ferocious. And some people say, for example, what is happening, what I am seeing, because I am a dog lover myself, what I see is, you know, uh, there are a lot of stray dogs especially near the meat shops and some of the, some of them who love dogs but they don't want to adopt or they do not want to have a dog but they like to feed the dogs they feed the dogs outside and one day that person is out of town say one day that person went out of town and the, he cannot feed the dog the, the dog is hungry so what does the dog do he needs to have food so this is these incidents happen when things like this happen so what my suggestion i was talking to my officers thinking this would be a better idea have like say every third Sunday or a fourth Sunday, let us decide one day and we have 30 circles. In those 30 circles, say have 20 dogs at a time in each circle, go for adoption because there are a lot of dog lovers who wants to come and adopt a dog. If a dog is clean and healthy, of course they come and uh, ad adopt a dog. So I'm saying let us do that drive. Probably if we do 30 into say 20, 600 dogs uh, every month can go. So we are thinking that's the best idea so far to stop these kind of menace. But, but I, I, I would accept your suggestions also because I might not be 100% right. Recently, the Supreme Court has given a judgment on this, yeah. stating that whoever is feeding the stray dog is yeah. responsible to take care and also to ensure that it doesn't bite to any citizen. Sure. So basically, what measures he will take, what measures GHMC will, GHMC will take because five-year-old boy lost his life yes. and not GHMC, not Supreme Court, no one can bring his life sure. back. But what will GHMC do to ensure that, you know, these kind of incidents will not report and also to ensure that, you know, Supreme Court guidelines will be followed and also to ensure that who are, you know, feeding these stray dogs because that is not in the GHMC records. Exactly. So what will you do to ensure that, you know, these kind of incidents will not report again? Okay. You know what my uh, thing would be? I would hire two or three more officers who would create awareness among people they would go say if a person is in charge of that circle he would go create awareness because especially when there are people who are feeding the dogs so we would have like uh, in the community hall we would have all the dog lovers or whoever is feeding the dog who wants to come we would make sure these officers go there and give a little you know little talk to them and tell them what the guidelines are about because not everybody knows about the guidelines they just know how to feed the dog for that day and then they just leave so we will make sure uh, these officers take care and of that issue. One question.